Hey guys, JK Tabletop War Games. So I've got a demo game of Flames of War, fourth edition. So the Germans are this side, and the British are that side with one Grant and two Crusaders. You can see the flat terrain I was talking about. These represent buildings and walls. So I'm going to roll off. The light coloured dice are the British and the dark are the Germans. So we'll see who gets the first turn. It is the Germans. So I will come back after they've done their movement. Okay, so the Germans movement. They attempted a blitz move. On a three plus, they would be able to move four inches and still fire as if they hadn't moved, but they failed it, so they've had to move up normally. This tank here has taken position behind the wall and the painted Panzer IV has taken position here and they are going to have shots at that first crusader behind that building but the shot from this guy is going to be a concealed shot because he's just got cover from the edge of that building so we'll do the panzer 4 first he gets one shot because he's moved and the crusader is hit on a 3 plus on its card so we need a 3 uh, we missed with the panzer 4 the panzer 3 it's going to shoot him, he normally needs a 3, but because he's concealed, plus 1. Because it's long range, it will be another plus 1. So on a 5, uh, no, he's missed. So the Germans hit nothing this turn. So we're going to the British turn. Okay, so British movement. Um, the Crusaders done a blitz move on a 4+. plus, So they have moved 4 inches and they are going to get to fire as if they hadn't moved. So they'll get 2 dice each. And the Grant attempted to make a blitz move but failed so he's just moved up around this building. He will get shot at the Panzer IV across there but that wall is in the way so he will be concealed and at long range. So we'll do the two shots from these Crusaders first. So they're both at long range so normally we're hitting the Panzer IV on a 5 but uh, sorry on a 4 we will be hitting him on a 5 because of long range. So two shots from the first tank here hitting on fives. Uh, two hits, double sixes. Okay, so the German tank will roll his saves. So he needs uh, to roll and whatever he gets, add it to his front armor. Now his front armor is five, so we'll do the first one. Five, so we got 11, so that's definitely a uh, save, so he's fine. And then his other one, uh, Five, six, seven, eight is not enough because the Crusader's um, six pounder weapon is an anti tank rating of nine. So that one goes through. So we now need a firepower to uh, blow him up. So we need a four plus to blow up the Panzer IV. No, we get a one. So he's bailed out. So he's going to have to take a test next turn. So there you go, little Panzer IV, you are bailed. Okay, now, the two shots from this Crusader, same thing, needing fives. Two hits again, wow. So the Panzer IV will um, make a save again. So front armor five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's a possible bail. And then the next one, five, five is 10, so we save that one. So we can only bail him out but he's already bailed, but we'll uh, attempt to bail him out on a 4+, plus, which we do. So he's bailed out twice, which means he has to take a check next turn. If he fails his remount check, he will be destroyed. So the Grant is going to take a shot at him across long range. So normally hitting him on 4s, 5s, a 6 because of there. The Grant has moved. So it will be one shot, hitting on a six. We roll, no. So that Panzer IV is now a burning wreck. So the remaining tank is going to attempt a blitz move. So his skill three plus and he can do a blitz move, which he does, we rolled a six. So he can go four and still fire with two dice instead of one. So, he's gonna go four, but he's gonna have to go over that wall. So he needs to make a cross check on a three plus. Yep, a four, so he can. So 
so he's going to end up just about there. And then he is going to take a shot at the Crusader on the far side. So he is going to get two shots at the Crusader. And he counts as not moving because he made a blitz move, so two dice, normally hitting him on threes, but because he's long range on fours. Uh, one hit, so the Crusader needs to make a save. His front armour is four, plus two is six. That is a fail because the anti-tank of the long by centimetre is nine, so he needs a four plus firepower to blow up that Crusader, which he does, he gets a five. So that Crusader is blown up. So I'll just grab a bit of cotton wool. And they get revenge, and that Crusader is on fire. Okay, so it is, oh, the last thing he'll do, the Germans can attempt two move orders if they successfully do their first order, which they did, their blitz move. So he's going to do a shoot and scoop and try and move back behind this wall. So again, that will be on a three plus. No, he can't do it. So we were going to the British turn. So British movement step. This Crusader moved up to take cover behind this wall and the Grant is tank cover behind this building. He's not going to be able to fire this turn because he hasn't got line of sight and he's it's blocked by the building. But the Crusader is going to get one shot into the front of the Panzer III. So we will be hitting the Panzer III on a four, which we do with him. He's going to make a save. His front armor on a Panzer III is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He saved it. So there's no other shooting. Um, so, but the British will attempt to shoot and scoot, the Crusader will. So on a 4 plus the Crusader will be able to do that. So, yep, so he's going to be able to go an extra 4 inches which is going to put him just to the side of that building like that. Okay, we're going to the Germans turn. So the Germans turn, he's going to attempt a blitz move on a 3 plus, which he does. So he is going to be moving four inches and still get his full rate of fire. So I think what he's going to do is go four inches like this and turn and he's going to get a shot on the side armour of that Crusader. But he's now going to leave himself exposed to that Grant but we'll see what happens. So he's going to get two shots. The Grant is behind cover, it's normally hit on threes, it's behind the walls, so we're hitting him on fours, but we get two dice because we've only done a blitz move. So hitting him on fours, that's one hit. So the Grant is going to make a save, but his side armour is only two. So two and two is four, that is not enough. So we just need a firepower of four plus to kill him. And we've done it. Two Crusaders on fire, blown up. So, it is now one on one. A Panzer III versus the Grant. So, and I think what I'll do is, is a shoot and scoot move for the Panzer III as well, because he can attempt to do that in his turn on a three plus. He does, so he can go four inches now. So he is gonna try and get some cover here. Four inches. He's going to go that way. So he's going to be there by that wall. So we're going to the British turn. Grant has moved four inches. He made a blitz move and now he is going to be shooting into the side armour. But he is partially blocked by that uh, wall. So um, it's going to be plus one. So we're going to get two shots with the 75 shooting into his side armour, normally hitting him on fours but because he's behind the wall on fives. Uh, nothing, that's great. And now the 37, he's allowed to fire his second weapon but only at a rate of fire of one on a five. We get it, we get a five. So the Panzer IV's side armour, Panzer three, sorry, side armour is three and one is four. That's not enough because the anti-tank of the 37 is 7, 
so he just needs a four plus firepower to blow him up, otherwise he's bailed out. Uh, he's blown up, and the British win the match. So it's short and sweet, but you can see how the game works. Um, obviously, you know, if you've got a lot more tanks um, and uh, aircraft, um, it, you know, it'd be good fun. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I um, can't wait to play some bigger games, um, so victory to the British, I will see you in the next video, cheers.